many people, many youth in Kashmir, whether justified or unjustified, have a lot of resentment. They are angry, but we can see what it does when you choose violent ways to give vent to your resentment and to your anger. At the end, Burhan Wani met his inevitable faith. He was killed. He could have found so many other ways to give vent to his resentment, to make an appeal for his genuine demands. But we must understand and the Kashmiri youth must understand that picking up guns is not the way which will get us somewhere. One Burhan Wani died today, another will die tomorrow until and unless we understand that picking up the gun is not a way out. The Kashmir issue can only be solved on the table and on the table you have to deserve a place to get on that table. You have to have your arguments ready. You need to give vent to your resentment in some other civilized way. All the children of these leaders are tucked away in safe environments, in schools, in Malaysia, in America, in London or in India. And poor people's sons are dying on the streets and they are glorifying the poor. The Kashmiri youth need to understand and need to ask this question to these leaders. If jihad, if this gun is so pious, why don't you pick it up? Why don't your children pick it up? This bloodshed must stop poor, young, promising, young youngsters like Burhan Wani. It must stop. Their killing must stop.